Has anybody ever like farted while you while you're like doing this? Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't know if like I'm supposed to take my shirt off, pants off. Rest down to your comfort level. Some people like to keep their underwear on or a bra. It's it's not going to affect your massage. What kind of cream is in that little holster of yours? I just use a real basic biotone cream. Oil is also better on people that are very hairy. So have you ever had to deal with like anybody's gross skin? I did have one client who just shed a lot of skin. It what do just, you do in that situation? I mean, you just kind of roll through it. You know, you gotta exfoliate once in a while. Do you guys ever, uh, you know, pop a boner? Guys do sometimes get an erection on the table. I mean, it's not even really a sexual arousal. Sometimes, sometimes it is. Some guys will get real embarrassed about it or be like, I'm not gay. It's like, I, I know, just, <laughs> Go back to sleep. Ignore it. Can you get away with not massaging them if they fall asleep? You never know when the person's gonna wake up, and I just feel like if you got busted doing that, I feel like getting caught stealing. Ever get tired of listening to like the same like flute music? Yes. Um, <laughs> people definitely groan or snore when they fall asleep. If I have someone else waiting outside or whatever, and you hear someone in the room going, oh, I know they're thinking, what's going on in there? <laughs> so, what is a knot? A knot is a bundle of muscle fibers that have stuck together. We're massage therapists. Massage therapists are people that have gone to school, that have a license. A masseuse would be an unlicensed female. Not always, but generally associated with the sex trade. No one has asked me for a happy ending directly to my face. I've had the client on the table go, aren't you hot? They're trying to say, you should take your shirt off. I'm saying, maybe you should go to sleep. It gets tiresome defending the, the profession. I take a lot of care in making whoever is on my table feel 100% safe and comfortable. Do I tip you based on how long you, you massaged or what, what's a good tip? If you go to a spa or somewhere where not all the money is going to them, then I would say, yeah, tip your massage therapist. If you have someone like me, I'm comfortable making what we've agreed to. To think that you can succeed out here without something to release that stress, that tension to keep yourself healthy, if we're up to me, I see massage is the best way.